They want to know if I was intimate with the deranged sister who came to the stage and threw her weave lotion on my lecture stage in Stonecrest, Georgia. Is that the conversation? we rather talk about that than talk about institutions. Exploitative, disgusting ancestors already laid their foundation for years. How was the foundation laid? There you go. You say, why we got to work hard, Dr. Umar? I don't see white folks breaking their back. They already been there, done that. It's your turn now. See, we got this thing, brothers and sisters. And the white man knows you well because he's written books on you. They say the Negro entrepreneur. Brothers and sisters, clap it up for the ancestors. So Dr. Umar Johnson, the prince of Pan-Africanism, <laughs> was on stage giving a speech when this big girl walked up to try to throw something on the stage. And it got me wondering, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people wondering, what was the situation? What was the relationship? What in the world is going on? Dr. Umar Johnson responded. I believe he'd be on Instagram, if I'm not mistaken. And also somebody else, I guess, got some sort of YouTube channel about him on YouTube where they post all of these different videos about it. And he responded to it. And uh, I just kind of wanted to talk about it a little bit. I know it's, a, a, you know, some news that most people already seen. It's probably like about a week old. And uh, I just think it's hilarious. I think Umar Johnson is just a very, very funny dude all the way around, man. And uh, I'm just trying to figure out what will make her do that. OK, it's, start, it's time to start the speculation. No, nah, we're not going to speculate, but <laughs> it's all jokes, man. But I'm just trying to figure out what would make that lady in the middle of his uh, in the middle of his speech just kind of walk up towards the stage, man, and start screaming and throwing stuff. Um, makes me wonder. OK, makes me wonder. You know, did they got something going on? All right. Is there some sort of relationship? All right. Was Dr. Umar Johnson, you know what I'm saying, handling business with this lady, man? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so he goes to Instagram and talks about it and basically tries to say that he don't have any ties with this woman. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he said he never saw this woman a day in her life. But I don't know, man. I don't know what he would have said that would have made her that mad. But we do understand he is a public figure. He is somebody that speaks on a lot of topics that a lot of people might not like. But uh, I'm a little bit surprised. Uh, it seems like Dr. Umar Johnson typically says a lot of good things about black women. OK, he says things like, you know, black queens forever, snow bunnies never. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> he's typically always talking about how he likes the black queens, man, and how serious he is about it, man. So I'm wondering what in the world would have made her. You know, get pissed off at him to the point where she's going to walk towards the stage and start trying to put hands on him and uh, throw stuff at him. One of the things I'm thinking, though, is what took security so long to get there. OK, she pushed if she wanted to, she could have got on that stage and put hands and feet. If she wanted to, she could have got up there and tried to squish Umar and sit on. him. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they, they definitely dropped the ball on uh, getting over there to protect Umar a little a little too uh, a little too slow there, man. But. I don't know. I'm going to play some more of what he talked about. We're going to get up out of here. I want y'all to let me know y'all thoughts down in the comment section. Do y'all think Dr. Umar Johnson had a relationship with this lady or is he telling the truth? Did he never see this lady a day in her life? And she's just a fan that got pissed off and now she's sour, man. But I want to give my thoughts on it. That's pretty much all I had on this one. And uh, this your boy, Get a Mic. Much love, peace, and blessings. And I'll holler at y'all in the next video. Peace. We'd rather talk about that than talk about organization. They want to know if I was dating the full-figured chocolate queen who came to the stage in Stonecrest and threw her shea butter 
and her weave lotion on the stage. That's what they want me to address. Listen, if y'all believe I know the sister, if y'all believe I was Stop with the, the cow. sister, <laughs> find the sister and let's go live with the sister. That's all we got to do. In the spirit of transparency, Dr. Umar will go live. We can go live and settle this, brothers and sisters. We don't need to have a whole conspiracy. We don't need to have a social media inquisition. Find the sister in Stonecrest, Georgia, who disrupted the lecture by throwing a bag of weave lotion and shea butter on the stage. And we can go live. I'm willing to engage in a community tribunal to exonerate myself from the false charges and allegations that the sister who approached the stage and said I was with her the night before in Savannah, Georgia was either co-intel pro or a co-intel ho. I don't know which one. I don't know, but what I do know is nobody was in that hotel with me at Savannah, Georgia them two nights. Nobody shared the hotel. If no woman came, you can get the footage from the hotel. Go and get the footage from the hotel in Savannah, Georgia and see if there was any queen in that hotel room. 